Hey, welcome back once again. And here in this video, I'm just going to show you how to declare the variables in C and how to initialize the variables and how to do the output instructions in the C. And so for that, I have to, you have to open your ID. Um, in my case, I'm using dev C++. So you have to open your dev C++ ID on your system. Then from there, you have to go to file option and from file, you have to select new then for here you have to select the source file. So this is here we are having the source file. Now we have to start writing the program. So for that I have to write first instruction in the program that is hash include. Then here we have to give the name of the file that I wanted to include that is stdio.h because I just wanted to use printf function for the output. So the definition of this printf function reside in this header file. So I have to include this header file in my program. So now I have to declare the main function. So for that I am writing here the main and the function is indicated by immediately after the main function, name of the function, you have to remove the parenthesis. So I have written main then parenthesis and then we have to write the body of the function within the curly brackets. Now main function is necessary to write in every program of C just because of the reason we have to compile the program and compiler start compilation of the program from the main function only. So that's why the C uh, main function is necessary to write. So we have written main function here. So what I'm going to do, do uh, here is to declare the variable. So first I'm using the type as int a. So what I'm doing here, I have declared a variable a and to its I have set as integer. Put the semicolon here, then another data type we use as float and the variable name is b. And what I'm doing this time, I'm declaring the variable along with the initialization. So here I'm initializing its value as say 22.44. Uh, say this is a decimal value fractional value I have assigned to this variable so this is what called as a declaration along with the assignment and in the last here i'm using char variable and the variable name is c and i'm not going to initialize it right now so after this i have declared the three variable in a float b and char c and I have also initialized the variable B, but I have not the set value of A and C. So here I'm going to initialize the variable A and A is equal to 56, say. And as this and as this is a whole integer is used to store the whole number value. And for variable C, I'm going to, as this is of type care, so I have to assign a care value, say H here. And this has to be assigned using the single quotes. Yeah. So character value has to be assigned in the single quotes. So that's why we have written H in the single quotes. Now I just have to display the value of the variable. So for that I am using printf function. And in the printf function here I am writing the in double quotes. That is uh, integer value of say variable A is equal to here I am using a format D. Format D is used to display some integer value. So here I, it will display a message that integer value of equal to D. So some integer value of um, value has to be displayed over here. And to whose value? I have to display the value of variable here A. So I have to give the reference of the variable A here and put the semicolon to terminate this thing. And then in the further next line you have to write printf and again I have to use the same concept here you will write float value of b is equal to here I have to use the format f so for float value the percentage f format is used and here I have to give the bell, uh, reference of the variable. So bell, float value is stored in the variable B. So here we have to put the value variable B here. And in the last here again, I'm going to use printf. And printf. And 
here I will write character value of C is equal to percentage C okay so percentage C is the format for the character value and here I have to use comma and variable uh, to be displayed over the value is C variable now after this we have almost done with the writing of the program now we have to save the program before executing this so for that I have to go to the file then here I will choose the save option or control plus s so in the C folder I am going to save and to this I am going to give the name as bear and extension as dot C this will let the compiler know that this program has been written in the language C so save your changes here and after saving you have program you have to compile the program to check for the error so or you can use the compile and run option also so this time I'm using compile and run option so my program is compiled here is zero error and zero burner burning and here is my output the integer value of a is equal to 56 ABC value we have declared to the variable a is equal to 56 and the float value of B is equal to 22.44 that's right we have assigned the value 22.4 and character value of C is equal to H look at this we have assigned the value H to this here in this case okay so this is almost done now what we have seen we have write written printf printf in the three different line but we have got the output in the same line so what I want that uh, after one line this or uh, second output should be in the new line, new line so far that I am using one concept over here that is backslash n this is what called the escape sequence so also I am letting you know how to use the escape sequence so save your changes whatever the changes you made in your program before executing that you have to save the changes then again you have to go to execute or press the F11 key to compile and execute this time you see the output <coughs> after the one line is displayed in the new line look at this now if you see there is no space between these two lines so I just wanted to add a tab space between these two um, sentences or lines so for that what I am going to do I am going to write some more uh, escape sequence here that is I am using backslash T for the tab space so again save your changes using control s and again choose the option compile and run and here you see the output teaser value of a is equal to 56 float value of b is equal to 22 character value of c is equal to h so this way we can declare the variables assign the value to the variables and do the output instructions in the c language that's all for now see you soon in the next video next video